Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Randy Truthful. I'm just here to uh, not impress anyone or anything like that. I'm just me. This is who I am. Do you know the attitude. You get what you get. The truth. Uh, anyway. I just want to say it's uh, what, October 18th, Saturday. Um, with my puppy pit bulls red nose. But anyway, I um, we'll give thanks to Lord Jesus, King of Kings, the only truth that we have in this world. Uh, this is my question just to the church that I believe has failed. This has been infiltrated for years. Uh, me as a young child, I can remember probably uh, kidney going around there, something like that. I had a demonic attachment, of course, I didn't know what it was back then, but I knew something wasn't right, okay? Who do you go to? Boys don't cry, <laughs> you know, boys, your boys, but you a sissy? No, let me just tell you. It's good to cry sometimes. It's a good purge with a purge. I'm not saying uh, if you have a pity party for yourself, it ain't going to cut it. But as life went on, I knew I had thoughts that wasn't normal. They weren't my thoughts. I know the difference. Just things that I knew wasn't right. Who do you go to? Uh, <laughs> some of these thoughts, uh, these voices were so powerful. One uh, and just thoughts. Sick, sick thoughts. One of my very scary. Who do you go to? And thank God I always believed in the Father up above. I didn't know much about Jesus, but I knew he was a God. I went to a Catholic church. I'm you know, I didn't get nothing out of it. Of course, you know, they're not of God. And we know it's the church. They all worship Satan and uh, sacrifice children, molest and all that. Uh, anyway, I had difficulties. I just knew things weren't right. Then the devil's good, he backed off, you know. Uh, anyway, get up, join the Marine Corps, and, uh, well, before that, I was going to try to have a lot of anxiety, a lot of paranormal stuff, too, old house in New Orleans, I remember, seeing, uh, with the old shotgun house, they, they run straight by, it's just straight shot, you go room to room. Ain't nobody call them shotgun albums. Anyway, uh, yeah, I used to see things. Always around me, always following me, paranormal stuff, even to this day. have been paranormal, you know. But I know what I'm dealing with today. Uh, 
I wound up, I used to hate drugs, smoke and drink, and I got into health. That eventually turned into uh, actually self centered. I missed Louisiana bodybuilding and all that stuff, you know, steroids. Um, like I said, I joined the Marine Corps before I got out of high school. Uh, that was the thing you did in 1982. Still, some people believe you served your country and that was a duty, but really, you served Satan. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know that. See, everything we taught was a lie. For years, you know, simplify. Yeah, you a Marine anywhere you go, Marines stick together. I don't do that, I you know, just simplify stuff no more. Do I regret joining the Marine Corps? No. Don't regret it one bit. Uh, went through advanced infantry. Oh, I want to be infantry and this and that. But I had some kind of death wish. <laughs> Yeah, for what? Uh, anyway, oh, uh, but look at on, uh, uh, I got hurt. Uh, oh, man, I was in good shape. And <laughs> get rejected from the police force. Why is that? Why did I get rejected from the police force? Couldn't understand it. Here I am, man. Marine Corps, you know, just boom, well, you know. Man, I make a good police. No, I wouldn't. They serve Satan, too. If you're a real Christian, you can't be a Christian, true Christian following Christ. And truly serving the Lord because you're not. You cannot serve two gods, one or the other. Let me just tell you, Christian policemen, you know what I'm talking about. You know, give this policeman a ticket, you know, he gets to run lights and go to weddings, be drunk, driving, sure, do all that. They give each other tickets. You know, I've been around them. I used to bounce, you know, work as a bouncer, stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, I get tied up with the mafia. So-called mafia, but there ain't no mafia, right? No such thing. Yeah, you Archipentes, Marcellus. And I'm talking to you, reptilian. Y'all all work with the Illuminati and all that now. Um, why you think uh, y'all with the Catholic Church? Y'all work together, see? Satan, Catholic Church, Mafia, Illuminati. 99.9% of the church, as I say, infiltrated. Let me give you. I get off track sometimes. Well, I get hurt. I wound up uh, getting addicted to drugs. I didn't know what being addicted was. I had no idea. Huh. None for years. But this is the one I called on Jesus. He got me through everything, all through life. And he still does today. He ain't got me through that. Wanna become an alcoholic, drinking from in the morning when I didn't have drugs to the time I went to bed and then I ate. We all know how that ruled. Yeah. Eventually, you know, you get the gun to your head. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. He didn't let me pull that trigger. I was squeezing it too. Didn't happen, Satan. <laughs> didn't get me, man. You didn't get me. See? Jesus had something stored for me. And uh, to this day, I, I still battle with things. Uh, but you go to church, they teach nothing about addiction. Well, they go to Baptist church. Where well, are you, church? Where do we go? The church ain't ain't delivering people from uh, demonic attachments and and stuff. Uh, demons teaching spiritual warfare, but they collect their ten percent. It's a lie too. Tithing ten percent is a full blown face lie. Ten percent of your gross incomes a lie. Prove me wrong, show me in scripture where it says 10% of your money every Sunday. I can't find it. I looked it up and I finally read it for myself. Read your Bibles, people. Let the Holy Spirit be your teacher, not church. Not some man behind a pedestal. Because you know where he got his doctrine? From Satan. Yeah, he goes to seminary. He gets a certificate. He's qualified, yeah. Qualified to send him straight to hell. You keep believing that man behind that daggone pulpit, I can tell you that. Because he ain't going to give you the real truth. What it takes. Follow Jesus Christ. He's the one you follow. Okay? Don't follow me. Anyone else? Follow Jesus. The only truth I've ever known. Uh, anyway, uh, 50 something years old. 30 something years. Of, don't know why. That should have been dead so many times. The amount of drugs and stuff I take. And anyone should be alive. But I am. Why is that? Maybe Jesus has a purpose and Satan, you want to take me out that way, right? Right. See? Yeah, they hate when I talk about it. They mess with your electronics. How many people out there? Uh, these reptilians, they're fooled with your electronics, yeah. Don't get upset. Worst thing you do is get angry. They feed off your energy, you see. They win every time you get upset, mad. Mad at your brother, sister, anyone. Love everyone. Love everyone. Even the enemy. Right? Jesus says love your enemy. Not, uh, it's not easy. Not for me. But it's getting easier. I just forgive him and it's on him. See, I used to always have to give, get people back. You to get out of me, I'm going to get you 10,000 fold. Nah, I give it to Jesus. Ow. He ain't worth it, look. Pray for that person. Because I was really not good. I mean, not good. You don't understand. Really no good. Not much better today. But I try to be honest with myself. And I try. Fail every day. I get back up. 
Maybe not the same day. Maybe three days later. But I get back on it. But, uh, a lot of churches do nothing to teach you spiritual warfare. Never deliver me from demonic, uh, oppression, anything like that. Attachment, whatever you want to call it. Basically, because it's take the possession you can get. These demons see through your eyes. They know your thoughts. They read your minds. Oh yeah. They know what you're thinking. Once they get in here, they know what you're thinking before you even think it. <laughs> so anyone out there don't think you're crazy, there is help. There is help, believe me. I know what it's like. Bang, I was there. Another darkness. Uh, stuff like that. No hope. Uh, I know. I've been there. See, I understand. Anything, I lost a child. Wife. Girlfriend for suicide. Friends, people I know. And if you get one or two friends in this lifetime, hey, you're doing okay. Believe me. Use the word friend very carefully. Because people will let you down. Man will let you down. That's a guarantee. Forgive them. But as far as a true friend or a friend, you're going to come across a few good people. And uh, don't take it for granted, okay? The best friend you ever had would be Jesus. Really? Which a lot of people won't understand. But any problem you have in this world, you call on Jesus, go on that Bible. Okay, so Holy Spirit to teach and show you you will. Most of my deliverance I've, I've done on myself. Not through no church or anything like that. But by the Holy Spirit teaching me. Or, and they'll lead me to this way, that way, and I don't, somehow you you get the you get the answers when you ask for it. Uh, Basically, uh, by reading God's word, praying, asking forgiveness, read his word every day. You must put them first. And when you demon oppressed or whatever I have attached, we need deliverance. It's all to open that Bible. And you know you need to open that Bible. Boy, and you be sitting there fighting and fighting. It's my experience. Even sometimes to this day. <laughs> but I know that's the answer, you see. But the more you do it, and then it's easy, and then you can't get enough of it. Ain't that right? Yes, that's right. Um, anyway, I don't drink no more. Don't even have the cravings. So that's the that a relief. The cravings so that would drive you insane to you had that drink again. Oh, the next drug rehab. Ha 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 rehab. <laughs> rehab. <laughs> Look at me close. Rehab. Ha ha ha. No rehab, Jesus. Okay? Jesus. 
Holy Spirit. I know where you have. Forget that. Jesus. And he showed me. Holy Spirit talked to me. Uh, reading his word. And a struggle. Very hard struggle when you're losing your mind. You think you ain't gonna make it and you keep taking. But even if you gotta be locked up. Where you at church? Where you at churches? Big fancy churches. Yeah. Rich man. Give me the 10%. Where you at? Shouldn't you be delivering people from these demons? They tormented day and night. Your, your church ain't giving deliverance. I'm not talking this fake fraud stuff. A lot of fake stuff out there too. Alright? Bunch of fakes. Y'all gonna pay for it. You gonna pay for faking it, yeah? Don't fake nothing. Be real. Alright? Yeah, I don't add it to nothing. What you see is what you get. Randy Truthful. <laughs> oh, he's crazy. That dude's a nut, man. So what? But I'm truthful. That's to my knowledge. I find to be wrong about something. I'll come back and say I was wrong. But I like to cut up to that. Don't you think, Jesus? God has a sense of humor, of course. Yeah. Would you look at that? <laughs> it's good to laugh, you know. Instead of, oh, give me a pity party. Yeah, I'll give you a pity party. Good luck. Go to church. Give me your money. No, if you go to church, and they not teaching you spiritual warfare. If they not uh, delivering people from demons and you seeing miracles of people being healed from sickness. Uh, I believe you're going to a church of Satan that puts Christ on top, Christian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go look up the hand signs. I bet you it preaches turn them hand signs. Yeah, everything's okay now. Nah. Let me check this one out. Yeah, see the hand. Quit looking at that hand. Claw. Anyway, yeah. Go look at every. It's not, it's had to be people that's not a normal position you have to force yourself see and showing uh, your allegiance to every news media everyone on TV you're gonna see them do this everyone and then you're gonna see them do this or fix their eyeglasses you know? okay that's why I cut this hand off see you said better to cut the hand off. Cut that eyeball out, right? I cut this hand off because I kept stealing. No, I'm just kidding. And actually, I blew this hand up. And the truth is, you know, I was, I was fishing with homemade explosives. That's right. Homemade explosives. <laughs> yeah. That's how we fish down here in the south. It works pretty good too, till he blow up in your hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, whoa, where'd they go? They go on up. Choop. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. I was pretty loaded that day too. Real feeling good. So good. I didn't even feel the pain. Yeah. No. But yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm just looking at it. Oh, blood. Yeah. Oh my God. Let's 
said, no, throw me a rag with a friend of mine. She said, throw me a rag, just give me a bitch, she's screaming, ah, throw me a rag, just wrap it, I don't feel that. I should have been dead, to tell you the truth. I felt the Holy Spirit, because they was trying to kill me, see? Because I used to talk to the Spirit. But that's how I found out the one that, uh, she went by the name, uh, Nasty Spirit, Nasty, Nasty Spirit, some kind of sexual spirit from childhood. Yeah. And when she told me to quit talking to it, that's when they attacked me, and they knew I was getting serious, and I was going to a church, I, and the Holy Spirit had come to me. And uh, I was doing EVPs, all the stupid stuff, you know, and so I was really between the drugs, the drinking, sexual immorality. Uh, bad. But Jesus was calling me. And I seen that spark jump, and it shook, nigga. And I hear, gotcha! And they tried killing me. Damn, because I quit talking to them. And uh, I felt, boom, a shield come up. And I was blasted, had to tell. But after that, I went and tried to get some help. But I wasn't fully, they was trying everything has stopped me from getting deliverance. But eventually, I did, and most of it was done on my own. And I still have demons. Don't think you don't. And the flesh, the flesh is no good, see? But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna cut this short. I know I bounce around a lot. But if you have any problem, any question, 99% this is all honesty. I can tell you what you're gonna go through, what you're gonna feel. In all seriousness, this is the time I get serious. I will help you. I'll give you the answers. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna go through. When you're not out there alone, don't think you're the only one. You're not. People are dying every day, committing suicide, oh damn, everything. Because they see no hope, because a church has failed you, you see. Not God, not Jesus. The church has failed you. <laughs> the church. Well, yeah, church. Anyway. Oh. Uh, let me just thank you to cut this off now. Uh, I just want to thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive me of my sins. I'm not perfect. Fall from it. And uh, I pray for all your children. I pray that not one be lost to these freaking demons. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to expose you. I know I'll be attacked, but so be it. Guess what? I am Jesus. You might kill his body, but you're not taking my soul. Uh, let me get out of here. But no. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Get in touch with me if you really need my help. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Uh, see.